What is a concussion to you and how can you prevent one? Uh, a concussion to me is uh, a, any kind of head injury that results from a blow to the head. Um, ways to prevent it could be, um, I mean, it depends on uh, the person, maybe depending on what you do. Maybe if you are more prone to concussions, then you uh, wear protective gears and uh, just avoid doing dangerous stuff. So a concussion is like a head injury or having like something hit your head and it happens when like um, your brain like shakes against like the skull. A concussion to me is um, usually when you get hit in the head really hard and most of the times that causes people to get knocked out and you either experience some um, side effects from that like like loss of balance and stuff like that. What are the symptoms of a concussion? Um, continuous headache, uh, vomiting continuously, dizziness, um, not being able, to, not being able to sleep well, uh, feeling nauseated. Um, so a headache, like migraine, serious, serious migraine, um, vomiting, throwing up. Um, memory loss, which I experienced short term. Do you know anyone who's had a concussion or head injury before? Um, no, not personally. Yes. Um, so me, actually. Um, so I was playing soccer once and uh, someone was going to hit the ball and he hit both the ball and my legs. Um, and so I fell and landed on my head. Um, and I know for like the first five minutes, I was just completely disoriented. Um, I couldn't figure out what I, what I was doing, like how I just got to the floor and all. Um, eventually, everything came back to me, but then I tried to rest and then I got like a serious headache. Um, and then when the headache got really bad, we we're going to go to the hospital and I flew up on the way to the hospital. Um, and then eventually they did an MRI and said it was... It was probably a concussion. I had a friend in high school who was doing track, and she t attempted hurdles. But uh, on the first hurdle, she didn't quite make it. So uh, her feet caught the hurdle, and she fell face first into the track. And I don't remember, but she probably like blacked out for a minute or two. And later after that, uh, all I remember her talking about was uh, it was just hard for her to look at her phone for too long. How can long-term effects of concussion affect people? What do people need to know about concussions that they already don't know about? Um, I think people might think concussion is uh, isn't as traumatic as perhaps like, like they, they might see it as something that isn't so bad but when you leave a concussion untreated for a long period of time it can lead to um, Worse, worse injuries, and um, I feel something people need to know is when you have symptoms of a concussion, that you should get it treated as quickly as possible. The effects of a concussion usually are like, at least from what I've seen and like a lot of, or what I've heard from like a lot of uh, news and movies, is like usually you lose your control of motions, like you usually get depressed for no reason, usually get like upset for no reason, irritated easily, um, loss of balance. It's always hard to focus on things, so it makes things hard to focus. People who like, get concussions, as I hear, um, they have a hard time learning in school because after that injury, no long, they can't really focus anymore, and so that makes it really hard to actually do things. What would your advice be for people who, who experience concussions? As a person who has experienced one, yeah, my my advice would be to play safe. To even if you're doing sports, you don't want to do anything too risky. If it's a sport that could potentially result in a head injury, if you can wear a helmet, maybe definitely wear a helmet, because um, it's this one-time things that could potentially change a person's life, and you don't want to have regrets.